What's up, guys? Jay Little here from More Pack Crackers. It is Tuesday, so I got two for Tuesday, not just any two for Tuesday. Uh, Gideon Planeswalker, Gideon the Oath Swarm, I think it is. Uh, the Planeswalker deck from War of the Spark. I haven't opened this. I wanted to get one of these uh, during my uh, War of the Spark week, but I didn't. But I got one now, and we're going to open it. We're going to go through the deck. Uh, talk about the rares in it because those are the only exclusives and you've probably seen all the other uh, things since then hopefully the packs are in the box okay yeah, I got scared there I was like these are supposed to come with two packs and it's two for Tuesday so I had to uh, do something uh, so here's the two packs we're gonna be cracking we'll do that in a minute uh, we got a play guide right there oh, that's Gideon's face how to play there you go um, actually says hey before you play maybe you should know how to play step one no no things step two do things uh but the planeswalker in this one is gideon the oath sworn it is four and two white uh it's passive ability is whenever you attack with two or more non-gideon creatures put a one one counter in each of those creatures uh, plus two is at the end of turn, Gideon the Oathsworn becomes a 5-5 white soldier creature that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn. And it's minus nine is exile Gideon the Oathsworn and each creature your opponent's control. So that's pretty badass. And it starts with four loyalty counters on it as well. So <clears throat> open up the, uh, the deck. Like I said, I'm going to go through most of it real quick. There's going to be some exclusive. This is kind of weird because Gideon has black in his deck, which is strange for Gideon. But, you know, what else? What else? We got some ad cards. We got some stuff here. Uh, I don't need those. Don't need these. Go to get, 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 get away. Uh, but uh, Command the Dread Horde, that's in the main uh, set, so I'm not going to really cover that. Pause to read about it if you want to. Oath of Kaya. Uh, Gideon's Battle Cry. That's exclusive to the Planeswalker deck. Uh, two and two white uh, sorcery. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. You may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Gideon the Oathsworn. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. I wish they would have something like that for just regular Planeswalkers. You know, search for a Gideon. Search for a Liliana, what have you. Uh, Kaya, Bane of the Dead. Uh, I guess huh, double more than one Planeswalker in this one. A Johnny's Pride Mate, a Johnny helping out in this one too. Charm Stray, got a good 4 them. Got two Enforcer Griffins. Two, uh, three Makeshift Battalions. Uh, two Trusted Pegasies. A War Screecher, a Vampire Opportunist. One, two, three Cruel Celebrants. One, two, three Gideon's Company. Uh, yeah, that's an exclusive one to the set. Uh, three and a White. Human Soldier, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever you gain life, put two 1-1 one, one counters on Gideon's Company. Uh, pay three and a white to put a loyalty counter on target Gideon Planeswalker. And that's good for the deck. Yeah. Four Orzhov Gilgates. Some Planes. Some Swamps. Bond of Discipline. Obnixilis Cruelty. And four Desperate Lunges. So this is actually, this one is probably the better of the two, uh, in my opinion, of the Planeswalker decks that came out this uh, this set. I still wish they had the introductory decks. Those are fun. You know, they didn't have, they didn't have a uh, Planeswalker in them, but, you know, they, they did have different mechanics other than, oh, this is a Planeswalker. I have to do Planeswalker stuff. But anyway, we're going to open up these packs, hopefully get some goodies. And uh, go through the commons and uncommons real quick, as usual. Uh, Battlefield Promotion. Hopefully this is zoomed in enough so you can actually read everything decently. Uh, cr crushed Descent. Crushed Descent, that's what it is. Uh, conch, Crunch, Wrangler. Aid the Fallen. Burning Prophet. Obnixilis of Cruelty. Opened a lot of those so far in this video. Uh, JL's Greeting. Totally Lost. Centaur Nortoror. Uh, Iron Bully. I am Iron Bully. It's, well, it was a bad joke to start with. Uh, Dread Malkin is my first uncommon. Bolt Bend. Last uncommon, Ugin's Conjurance. 
That means my rare or mythic is going to be a Planeswalker. It is a rare Chandra. All right. I already have one of these, but, I mean, I will take another one. I'll take another one. Uh, so, Sandra Fire Artisan is 2-2 two two red. Uh, comes in with four loyalty counters. Her uh, passive ability, whenever one or more loyalty counters are removed from Chandra, she deals that much damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Plus one is Exile Top Card of your library. You may play... You may play it this turn. And it's minus seven. Is exile the top seven cards of your library. You may play them this turn. All right, so kind of the same thing, just multiplied by seven. Which is good, especially in a late game with a with a red deck, probably a burn deck. You're probably going to be able to spend seven mana in one go. If it, if it gets to the late game. It shouldn't. If, you're, if you have a good red deck, it shouldn't get to the red, uh, late game. But we got a Grim Initiate, Makeshift Battalion. Again, open a lot of those. Uh, I'm going to call this the Makeshift Battalion Ob Nixilis' Cruelty Show. Uh, Shriek Driver, Diver, uh, Ward Scare, Crocodile, uh, Mana Geode, Thunder Drake, Charm Stray, Vraska's Finisher, Heartfire, uh, Pollen Bright Druid, Bond of Discipline. This is my first uncommon. Devouring Helion, last uncommon, Rally of Wings. Oh, that's a double, that's a double rare Planeswalkers. What could it be? Ooh, I got Ugin the Ineffable. All right, I'll take it. I got a couple of these already, but I'll take another one. Uh, six uh, drop for four loyalty. Colorless spells you cast cost two less to cast. And it's plus one. Exile top card of your library face down and look at it. Creature Create a 2-2 two -two colorless creature token. Spirit creature token. Easy for me to think I can even see this uh, with my bad eyesight. Uh, when that token leaves the battlefield, put the exile card into your hand. It's minus three. It's destroy target permanent. That's one or more colors. And I got a cute little forest and zombie army token. Uh, so I got two rare planeswalkers. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I am starting a Chandra, jet, uh, Chandra deck, I should say. Um, so I already have that one for it. But, you know, if it needs a backup sometime, I got one. Put that in my sideboard, I guess. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, if you need a topic this week, tell me your favorite of the two Planeswalker decks. Was it Gideon? Was it Jace? Uh, because why wouldn't they make another Jace one, right? Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in uh, next week because I'll have the Jace opening, Jace uh, Planeswalker deck opening on Tuesday. So check that out. Later.